hello everyone watching the video today if you're new to the channel or new to watching my videos i sell clothing full-time my name's owen and i run a business called fishbowl vintage i sell clothing full-time on depop ebay vintage instagram and my own website so i'm trying to cover a lot of bases to keep as busy as i can and maximize the growth of the business now i haven't posted a video in a while but i'm back with this video it's a little introduction to the year and what's been happening last year what's gonna happen this year so yeah i hope you enjoy since last making videos there's been a huge change which is the fact that i'm now doing this full time whereas before it was kind of in the transition and wasn't properly full time i'll say that much so many people have been invested at different stages of the journey and all the way through and i massively appreciate that I never ever expected that to be the case but it is and yeah that's how it is so a lot's changed since the last video first the noticeable one of this brick background which is where I actually take my photos now so I'm going to show you the new photo setup now very quickly so yeah I've got this little hook on the wall which I do need to upgrade and get something a bit better but I'll uh, get the piece on the wall, obviously shape that up, and then just take a picture of it on the wall. Obviously square to fit on the uh, Depop profiles and things like that. And usually the color is off. So I'll make sure that I include this white roof to balance out the color and give an accurate um, color of the item. And then I crop it out. And yeah, it's as simple as that. There we go, nice and simple. The reason I've changed to the brick background photos is one, it's a lot simpler, it takes less time. There's no editing for the blue background or anything like that. Two, I think it looks cleaner, more professional, and it gives you a better view of the product with it being a neutral color. I'd say that. Um, so yeah, another year's over, and it's the first year I've been doing it properly full time. Obviously that means it's been my first Christmas and my first new year doing it full time which has been absolutely nuts. So yeah, as a business and individually, a lot was achieved last year. Now, <laughs> every time we come to the end of a year or a week or a month or a day, I always just think it, <laughs> it is just a human construct and someone's just made up the fact that it's another year. But that's just me thinking deep. Realistically, if there's any time to kick in new habits or to keep growing or to make a new pledge to yourself about something then a new year is definitely a good excuse to do that so yeah last year business wise obviously i took fishbowl full time which is amazing and can't even put into words how grateful i am for the opportunity to do this full time and for where i am because i didn't even realize that i'd love clothes or selling clothes as much as i do until i properly started other than that, we went to Italy. I went to Italy. I don't know why I say we because it's definitely just me running it. Um, last year, I went to Italy twice. That was the first time I travelled alone, and it was definitely first business trip I've ever been on. The first time was just both times were just absolutely amazing. I can't put into words the experience at all. But the first time was more expensive because I was like learning a lot of things and finding my way around and I didn't really know where to go for clothes I just kind of winged it yeah the second time I'd learned a lot more so I lived cheaper uh, I found cheaper clothes and just had an overall better idea so I can only imagine going back the third time which is going to happen this year again I can only imagine the growth and the difference that there's going to be there I feel like when you start selling it's at first unless you've got a tunnel vision of the kind of things that you want to sell and the way you want to go about it and you've got a business model and a business plan i feel like it's quite hard to uh determine what you do like selling straight away and going to italy and meeting certain people helped me figure that out and it helped me figure out that i love the italian brands such as benetton missoni uh stone island Fila, sergio tacchini best company paul and shark i'm just looking at all the things that are in front of me clothes wise and that's the stuff that i love selling and it took a while to figure out but once you get to that point it's amazing because it makes things so much more enjoyable and you can stock the things that you like only but i love going online and finding single bits or 
maybe from eBay, Vinted, things like that. Buying single bits, searching all over. It is a lot of time on your phone, but I find there's a thrill in that when you find something quite cheap or you find something that you love and you're like, right, I'll buy it and then you sort your deal out. And then you buy all these individual items, you order them, they all come, you unwrapping individual parcels, which is exciting. She's like, oh, what's in this one? Open that, wow. Um, and then you get them all together, 10, 20 items, bundle them up, put them online, sell them, get them out. I love that kind of thing because that way you can pick every single item that you sell and you can pick every single item that you're gonna have online. And yeah, there's just a thrill in it. I enjoy doing that kind of thing. So I'm probably gonna continue to do that other than when I'm in Italy and I'll go buying as much as I can because all the stuff that I love is over there. So yeah, in 2021, I've um, trialed and tested a lot of things and just kind of find out what worked for me and what hasn't. Now, I've made a lot of failures and I've spent a lot of money on things that still maybe haven't sold today and they were just a waste of money that I've sometimes ended up giving away. And I've ended up putting posts out on Instagram and things like that that I've overthought and that I've regretted. And there's a lot that can go on inside your head as a reseller especially when you spend a lot of time on social media and a big big take from last year was to not focus on what other people are doing and just to focus on my own thing because that really really affected me um focusing on what other people are doing like oh why have they got so many followers so many likes and in reality it just all means nothing so we just it's just not something we should be worried about and life's too short to be worried about things like that. I'm currently in a fasted state, which means I've not eaten for nearly 24 hours. And that's a personal goal more than anything that I wanted to try this year. I wanted to try fasting because I spoke to a lot of people have done it and I've, um, I've researched the benefits and the effects of fasting. So yeah, I was very excited to try that. I'm in it now. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty full of energy to say that I haven't eaten. I'd normally be burnt out by now, even making a video Sat here, I think. <clears throat> but yeah, since I've got the studio space now, where I operate the business from, I feel like it's a good time to start a YouTube channel because I've got the space to do so and I've got all the resources and the things that I need here to do that. I've got a few videos planned already, a few different uh, themed videos, and I definitely think I've got some knowledge that you could all benefit from anyone watching this because if you're watching this i'm sure you're into reselling or clothing i think i've got some knowledge some stories that i can pass on which can definitely resonate with people and can help out in other areas i was going to give you a little tour of my studio but i'm going to leave that to another video what i am going to do though is show you just a few favorite pieces of mine that i've got in at the moment so i'll probably show you five because we'd be here all day if I was to show you them all. Right, so first of all is this Stone Island sweatshirt. It's the reason I love this so much. It's very simple, but it's one, a really lovely pale blue colour. It's got the green edge badge, of course, and it's from the 80s. Yeah, it's from the 80s, which can be easily seen from the CP company tag. Um, and it could be late 80s uh, or maybe 89 to 91. I've heard, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, it's a lovely piece. The quality on these is insane. The The wide neck um, is lovely and yeah, it's just a really nice piece that on. It's quite easy to pick out my favourite pieces because I love so many of the pieces, so they come in quite quickly. But next up is this short sleeve sweatshirt from Iceberg. Now, before I started selling, I hadn't seen a short sleeve sweatshirt before. I didn't even know they existed and I've got into the world, well, the world of them. <laughs> I've had a few of them and yeah, they're really nice. So this is Iceberg and this is just one of the most beautiful embroideries I've ever seen on the front of a sweatshirt or anything like that. So much detail, color and time has gone into that. Next up is this Missoni Sport Cardigan. This has got a beautiful pattern on it. Knitted, made in Italy, 90s one, I believe. It doesn't have any holes for the buttons, but I'm not sure if it's meant to be like that or what, um, but it's just beautiful anyway, and it's lovely. It's like an over shirt kind of thing. The next up is this 90s feeler knitted quarter zip sweatshirt. It's got the badge on the arm right there. It's got the made in Italy tag. It's got this lovely strip, maybe like a beige color around the neck. It's got this pocket on the front. 
And yeah, that's just a really lovely piece. I love that. I really wish that fitted me actually. And then the last piece that I'm going to show you is this Averex sweatshirt. Because how can you not like that? <laughs> like that is insane. I absolutely love that. The colours, the blue, the white, the grey, the black, they all go with the orange really nice. And yeah, it's a really cool piece. I love it. Right, so I've got a couple of questions from a Q&A that I've just put on Instagram. Um, it's already The video's already running, so I'm not going to answer loads. And I'll save some for the next video if there's anything that you really want to know. So one of the questions I've just got from both Al's Vintage Shop and Harry's Vintage is what motivates you and what keeps you motivated? I couldn't really put it down to anything particular. Uh, anyone who does this full time knows that you have got to be a very self-motivated person. There's no one to get you out of bed in the morning and be like, right, get up, you need to go, you need to do this, you need to do that. If you don't do it, it won't work, simple as. I think the thing that motivates me is the fact that I've had a lot of, I've had about 14 jobs previously working for other people. Now, I absolutely hate working for other people. That's just me, everyone's different. I even walked past a pub the other day, actually, and I thought, you know what? I might ask if they have any part-time jobs and get one on the side so I can grow the business even more. And I um, I plucked up the courage to go in. I walked into the pub and as soon as I walked in, I just thought to myself, I cannot do this. I cannot work for another person. So I walked straight out. But yeah, the fact that I don't like working for other people motivates me because I just think if I don't get up and do this today, if I don't list, if I don't go out by nines, if I don't spend so much time doing this, I'm not going to be able to work for myself any longer. On top of that, I think taking care of your health keeps you motivated, keeps you healthy and just keeps you more excited for it. So I've started turning, as of about two months ago, I've started turning my phone off about 10 o'clock on a night, sometimes 11 if I've got a lot of work to do or something. But I turn it off completely, 10, 11, I put it in the other room out of the way and then... I do not look at a screen all night. I read before I go to sleep, I read a book, or I'll like meditate, I'll do some breathing exercises, and I'll wake up feeling fresh, a lot fresher than I would if I'd been sat on my phone, scrolling before I go to sleep, uh, eating well, keeping in them kind of routines, having downtime from my phone, and yeah. So in a nutshell, I think the two things that motivate me, if I had to pick it, is taking care of my health in general obviously that covers a broad variety of things and the fact that i don't like working for other people and i've got to make this work if i want to work for myself so the next question is from pick one vintage and it is what is your next goal oh my next goal is to plan for another italy trip simple as that another question is from al's vintage shop and it's do you think the vintage scene is saturated at the minute oversaturated i think definitely yeah um i think there's a lot of people selling but i also have seen i've not been doing it long enough to comment on how it's changing and stuff like that and how it's changed but i've definitely seen over lockdown because that's when i started doing it a lot of people start doing it and then stop um but obviously more and more people are starting and yeah it's oversaturated but i think the best thing to do is just Focus on what you're doing. Keep selling what you love selling. Try and find a bit of a niche in something slightly different. And um, I, f I feel like if you focus on them things, you'll always keep selling stuff, whether it's oversaturated or not. But yeah, definitely oversaturated. There's so many people selling. There we go. I do apologize if I haven't answered your question on today's, but I'll definitely do that in another video, another episode, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I think that is it for today's video. It was just a little introduction to the year and a round off to 2021. But I think a new year is certainly a great excuse to bring in new habits or to accomplish something new or to work towards new goals. If you've got any big goals for 2022, please leave them in the comments if you've watched up to this point so far. And we'll have a chat about them and I'd, I'd like to hear what you've all got going on. And also, if you think of one thing from 2021 that you achieved that you're the most proud of please leave that in the comments because that's also interesting and i'll start off with mine saying that the biggest thing that i achieved in 2021 that i was so proud of was cutting out nicotine because i smoked for seven years a hell of a lot of cigarettes roll-ups weed all that kind of stuff and then it was affecting me in so many ways so i stopped smoking 
but then I replaced smoking with nicotine pouches, which are little pouches that you put under your gum. It gives you your nicotine fix and yeah, it's an alternative. It's a lot better than smoking, but still not good for you. And you're putting God knows what into your gums. But anyway, they were cut out about a month and a half ago and I'm completely nicotine free after seven years. So I'm mega happy with that. And it's definitely, definitely saving me money and better for my health. But yeah, thank you so much for watching if you watched up to this point and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed, subscribe to the channel for notifications of when I post another one. If you enjoyed the video, of course. I wish you all the most success in 2022. Take care of yourself. Have a lovely day or evening, wherever you are. And I will speak to you soon.